Welcome and welcome back to Scorpio Tiger Tarot. I'm Scorpio Tiger. I am here to do the weekend reading for the sign of Cancer. I hope everyone had a wonderful week and your weekend is starting off great. Okay, let's get into this. This is a general reading, so take what resonates, leave the rest. You already know what to do when love shows up. Reverse roles as needed. Okay, we are under that Pisces moon. It's a Pisces new moon. New beginnings, new thoughts, new ideas. Pull out your pencil and your paper, your pen and your pad, and write down all the goals that you want to achieve, okay? And tuck it away somewhere safe. Some people say burn it so you can give it to the universe, but words are powerful. I don't burn mine. I just write it down, okay? So utilize this moon. It's a powerful energy, okay? Good stuff. Cancer, your overall energy is the Knight of Wands, Okay? You about to take off and do what you're doing, huh? About to finish what you started. I feel it. Cancer. What's going on with the Cancer Collective this weekend of March the 8th, 2024? Or whenever they are guided to this video. Those Cancers that have liked, shared, and subscribed to our channel. Thank you so much for your support. And to those that are divinely guided. Welcome, welcome to the Scorpio Tigers family. Yeah. All right. Okay. We got the Seven of Pentacles, the, the Three of Wands, the Five of Wands, and the Five of Cups. It's going to be some changes going on. At the bottom of the deck, we got the King of Cups. That's your energy. That's what I say the energy is. It can be Pisces and Scorpio too, but I say it's a Cancer. Yeah, a lot of people say it's Scorpio. Um, <clears throat> so what I'm seeing here is that you're, you're trying to focus on your finances. You're looking um, at how far you've been, where you've been, how far you've come in life, all the experiences you've had in life, and you're just stressing. You have an internal conflict because you're not happy in some relationship, okay? And you want balance, all right? Okay, I get it. Let's clarify this. The Five of Pentacles. Why is this here for the Cancer Collective? Spirit. Why is the Five of Pentacles here for the Cancer Collective? Thank you. All right. We got the Seven of Wands in reverse and the Ten of Swords in reverse. That is telling me that you are having so much anxiety. And the Ten of Swords is what? Let me see. I'm going to check it real quick. Okay, the Seven of Swords is admitting defeat. Okay. That means you're just giving up. You're lacking courage. Surrendering. Wow. Ten of Swords in reverse. Oh. So the Ten of Swords in reverse talks about, <clears throat> excuse me, advantage, power and authority, profit, success, favor. So you are thinking about how far you've come and the fact that you're like, dang, I had all of that and now it's all gone. Dang. Yeah. <clears throat> excuse me. It looks like because you were being selfish. And I don't know. I don't. Yeah. Okay. You wish to have balance. Thank you, spirit. You wish to have balance. Okay. Thank you. I was trying to figure out what that was. Uh, the three of the three of wands. Why is this here? For the cancer collector. Why is the three of wands here? Yeah, you're thinking about, probably thinking about all the money you done squandered away. Yeah, that's in reverse. You're stressed out and it's telling you that you, with temperance in reverse, it's telling you that you got tensions and knots in your body and you're being asked to release them, okay? Yeah, you need to cut out your stressors and stuff and speak clearly to people because you, you, you're you really stressed and I can feel it, okay? Yeah. You're going to be all right. Answer. The five of wands. Why is this here? Yeah. 
That that pot of worms is 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 game, right? Confusion. Yeah, it's game. Okay, you just gotta relax. Go to the gym or something. If you gotta go get laid, do that. You know what I'm saying? Go go do go take care of your business to get all that tension out of your body because you're stressed out. Take a walk. You know what I mean? Do some yoga. Yeah. And when you do that, that's when you you're gonna um you're gonna get some um you're gonna make strides to your happiness with the sun card here. Yeah. Why I just hear check yourself before you wreck yourself. That's what I just heard. Excuse me, you um yeah. You, you gotta get that 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 all that, that tension out of your body. And once you do that and you move forward, you're gonna get you're gonna get um some sort of prosperity or something, okay? It's going you're gonna be happy again. That's what it's telling you. All right. And you've had a disappointment in the past relationship or you're not happy in your relationship and you want to be single with that King of Swords clarifying that Five of uh, Cups. The Five of Cups is about regret from, from a past relationship or you're not happy in your present relationship and you want to be free because the King of Swords is a single energy. Okay? And you rather just be single. Okay? Loving on yourself and maybe with your friends because... Queen, two queens mean sincere friends. So you, you you probably don't want to be in a relationship. You just want to have your friend, your close friends and family, and and just you know live like that. What else we got from the Cancer Collective? Yeah, you thinking about all the money you done had and you done blew. We got the fool in reverse. You don't want to go on, but you're being told to be strong. Be strong, Cancer. Yeah, because you got everything that you need with that magician card, okay? Thank you. Yeah, stand in your power, okay? Seven of Swords in reverse. That's gossip, right? That is, but I need more. Give us more. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Stand in your power, Cancer, because there's going to be some good advice that's going to be given to you, maybe by sincere friends, when we saw the two queens in here. And somebody's going to give you some good advice so that you can move on, okay, and start working on yourself. Whether you're going back to school, going back to work, Whatever it is, going back to dance class or something, whatever it is, somebody's going to give you some good advice and good counsel, even if it's a therapist, and you're going to move forward, okay? And, and you're going to be able to look and be able to see all the possibilities that you can get out of life, okay? Yeah, 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 because you don't feel like going on right now. You got to get the tension out your body. <clears throat> so you can get up out of this depressed, this depressed state that I'm seeing here. Okay? Get out of the past. Get out your head. Okay? Cancer. So your overall energy talks about, yeah, you need to do what's right for you, Cancer. Okay? And this overall energy is, is the Knight of Wands talks about you're going to go finish what you started. You're going to have a testimony by the time you're done with all of this. Okay? And you're going to be able to, to inspire someone else. Who's been through the same struggles you had. When life knocked you down. You're going to be able to get up. And tell them. How you pulled yourself up. And got back to living. Because that's what I'm feeling in this. Okay. I don't like that energy. Yeah. Move forward. Communication is going to come in from an older individual. That's going to help you get back to you. Yeah. You're going to get a new job. 
You're gonna get your brand new beginning. Your, you're gonna have your contentment and your money's gonna be great. But they said don't be spinning like you're crazy. Confirmation from the candle popping. Yeah, don't be spinning like you're crazy, cancer. Once your money get back right, out there partying and stuff, don't do that to yourself. Okay? <clears throat> yeah. And then you're going to find new love. And then your world going to come back into peace. Can't make this stuff up. All right? I think I need to go here for you. We had 10 minutes. But I'm going to do this for you because I don't like that feeling I'm feeling from this reading. Any message for the cap for the Cancer Collector Spirit? Any message for the Cancer Collector? Oh, is that it? No. Okay, thank you. Any message for the Cancer Collector Spirit? Don't nobody be out there uh, thinking about taking themselves up out of here because you got to ride these wheels to the wheels. You got to ride it to the wheels, fall off, just like the rest of us. Don't be thinking like that. You got to stay here like the rest of us. Anything else? Mm -hmm. Speak up. Talk to somebody about what's going on with you. Cancer. Don't keep stuff like that. Don't, don't keep things bottled up. That's why you're being told that you got all this tension and stuff in your body. You need to get it out. Okay? You need to speak up and speak to somebody. Okay? That's sacred lust. Okay? Yeah. You need to take care of yourself. Okay? Or, or go get you somebody that you trust and get that, and get that out your body. Okay? Yeah, creativity. When you tap into your creativity, it awakens your soul. Anything you like to do, whether it's painting, doing puzzles, playing video games, who cares what it is, tap into that and become more creative. It helps you heal. Okay? And soul forgiveness. Not only do you need to forgive yourself, you need to forgive others. Okay? And definitely forgive yourself because you're only human. You ain't no better than nobody else. And nobody's better than you. All right? You need to work on that. Forgive yourself. This is more stress in the body. You don't want that. And rage. It's okay to feel rage. Just don't hurt nobody, including yourself. It's all right to feel rage. It's a human emotion. We're having a human experience. You can feel it. Go take a walk while you're doing it, though. Okay. All right, y'all. I hope that helps someone because this reading is not. Yeah. Ask your question out loud to yourself, Cancer. Anything for the Cancer Collective, this energy in this reading. You got any answers? <clears throat> The cancer energy in this reading. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. You're going to be fine, cancer. Everybody goes through it at some point in their life. Everybody goes through it. The story might not be the same, but the emotions and stuff, it, everybody goes through it. It's up to you. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me, and romance. I don't know what you asked, but it's all up to you. Talk to your ancestors, all right? Talk to the most high, Mother Earth. Connect with her. Go take walks. Get outside, okay? You're going to be fine. Hang out with your friends because I think somebody got a message for you, whether it's your uncle, brother, cousin. Somebody got a message for you. You need to go find out who got it. Like Carl said, your first card out will speak up. Go talk to somebody. Whether it's a counselor, I don't care who it is. Talk to somebody. Just take a walk and talk to the most high. He'll answer if you listen. I'm not special. If you listen, he'll answer you. If you took anything from this reading, like, share, and subscribe. And what I always say, I really want you to say it with me. What do I always say on the weekend readings? 
make it a great weekend on purpose. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care, cancer.